Windows 11 just dropped this massive update, but it's already causing issues, especially for those who have SSDs. In this very video, I'm going to show you how you can be able to fix that error if some of your files are missing. But first and foremost, let me go ahead and talk about this new Windows 11 update you should be aware of first. 506.38.78 is giving a bit of migraines, headaches. And especially for those who really rely on making video and photo content or even 3D design or even your game files with your saved files could go missing. There are SSD failures currently with heavy writes. Several users are reporting that right after the update, some SSDs, particularly those with vision controllers. So if you have an SSD with vision controller, and I'll show you an easy way where you can check it out. DRAM less modules, there are also running into issues. Now it would vanish from windows, like from heavy write speeds or some of their files that would go missing that's over 50 gigabytes. So just imagine you have this large project that you're working on and it just goes missing all because of a stinking Windows 11 update. Here are some of the models I can list right off the top of my head. Corsair's Force MP600. I know Gigabyte does use a fission controller, specifically on the Gen 5 10,000. Kyosha Exocera. Sandus Extreme Pro M.2. A Data 580, just to name a few. If you have any of those SSDs, please be aware. And if you already installed Windows 11 and you're already missing files, don't worry, I'm going to show you a really easy recovery method. But first and foremost, I have to let you know there's a very real possibility that there is going to be some data corruption. You can roll back your updates and go back to the prior windows just in case. Some of the early speculation that has been currently found with this issue that there is a flaw in the driver cache or into the system drive. But this hasn't really been 100% confirmed yet by Microsoft. We'll see exactly what they have to say about this. So installation failures via WSUS or SCCM for enterprises who uses WSUS, which is practically just the Windows Server's update server. It's just the acronym for it. KB5063878 may fail during install. Returning errors like 00x802-40069. I know it's just numbers. You're probably not even paying attention. But if you're the IT guy, just make sure to watch for that error because you have a good indication of what that is. Microsoft has already issued that known issue rollbacks. Hopefully you haven't installed the update yet, but if you have and you have any of those SSDs that I do mention, M.2 drives, or if you're on an enterprise system, you can certainly use it. Hopefully you don't need to do any certain intervention, but if necessary, please do. But there are other reports out there. There is mixed confidence that some of these sites suggested that just coincidence of a failing disk drive, which is pretty hard to believe. There's a lot of community forums out there, such as Reddit, you have reset error, and you have threads that are stating that SSD failures concerns are linked to the cumulative update. And I gotta say, more than likely, listen to those who have experienced the issue. And I really highly doubt this is some sort of failure when it comes to the SSD. To break it down to you, the problem areas here are going to be SSD, disappearing, corruption. You're going to experience heavy write workloads. It will affect certain SSD models as mentioned, which it's going to be fission controllers and DDR less models. Just make sure to check that website, Tech Power Up, type in your SSD, and more than likely you'll find it and you can find out exactly which controller you have. If you did run into the issue, now let's get rid of the installation update. All we have to do is hit the Windows button, go to settings, and now you wanna to go to Windows updates and then go to the search bar. Once you go to the search bar, look for uninstall updates. Once you go to uninstall web updates, look for that nasty KB506-3878 and we're gonna hit uninstall and poof, it's going to be gone. Importantly, if you lost data, you're gonna wanna watch this or if you want to recover any type of file that you've lost from before. Even if you haven't been affected by the Microsoft 11 update, this can certainly recover some of those accidental deleted files. Stellar data recovery is one of the best tools that's around. Now this company has been around 93, so they're not a new kid on the block. They certainly know how to retrieve some of those lost files, and I can't wait to show you exactly how you can do so. You can go to Stellar Data Recovery's website. You could go and download it completely for free. Just hit that download button and make sure you go over to your downloads 
folder. When you go to your downloads folder, open up Stellar Data Recovery and make sure to follow through the install process. Just hit next until you finally hit the UI. It pulls back all those deleted files, doesn't matter exactly when, even back, you can see files back from three, four years ago, or however long you had that storage drive. It doesn't matter if it's hard drive, doesn't matter if it's SSD, even pulls files for out of an SD card. When you open up Stellar Data Recovery Professional, it's gonna look just like this. You can recover your all your data, or you can customize your scan from office documents, emails, audio, photos, videos, etc. Now you wanna recover from your drives, whatever you wanna recover. First, just select this off. You do wanna select a video, just for example, and then you wanna recover from, just say you wanna recover from your D drive, you just hit that check mark, and then hit scan. It's pretty much that easy to go ahead and get it started. But here are your connected drives, which are practically your solid state drives or hard drives. You do also have your physical disk, which could be external drives. It could be SD cards. It could be CF flash cards. You can recover from non-bootable disk. So if you need to create recovery data from a non-booting PC, you can certainly connect it to this PC. You can resume recovery from the previous scan. So you can save your scans and you don't have to scan it all over again. Some scans could take really long, especially if you click all data, but be for certain that most of that data that you are looking for will certainly be found. Now you can create an image, so you can even clone a drive and you can recover from an image if you want to create, say like even a system disc or even clone another drive, especially if you're a videographer or photographer, even those in graphics design that can be highly useful because you don't lose your data. You can go to general here and you can select your different options, select different language, and you can even change up your theme. You could skip bad blocks. You can choose to select certain file formats and even document formats it's very descriptive on what you want to upgrade it even gives you a preview of what that file is before recovering it if you want to make sure that it is the correct file you can actually look at it before you actually start a recovery it even pulls encrypted drive information so if you do have anything that is encrypted where it is under aes you can certainly pull those files which is a really nice feature now let's get on how you can use it. We're gonna go search my Ninja Drive. Reason being is because this is where I have all my video data and I constantly run this drive through and let me see if I could pull some information out of this drive or some videos. And right here we have, we have scan. This is just a quick scan. And through the quick scan, we can see that we have found some video and this is how you can easily recover some of that footage. Even though this drive is just one terabyte, I can manage to save some of the information. And now if you do select the destination, you cannot select the same drive, otherwise it will not transfer over. Make sure to select another drive to transfer your information because it will not work because it is literally going through everything you have in that drive in order to pull the lost information. So I just made a folder of recovery on the desktop and I'm going to transfer some of these video files over. Let's see how well it turns out. Success, we recovered some of that data. So we're gonna go ahead and check out that folder to make sure it actually is a video file. There it is, we're gonna click it and let's see how well it works. That is amazing that the video footage actually has pulled up. This is from a few months ago, but it still managed to pull that information just to show you how powerful this software is. We can go ahead and save the scan. And since we saved the scan, we can make sure to access that data once more if we really need to get that video footage back or whichever type of files that we need to recover from that drive. With Stellar Data Recovery, we can pull any type of file that we're looking for. Check down in the description box down below on how you can get it. And you can certainly get those missing files that Windows 11, well, pretty much destroyed. For everybody out there, I hope you found this content very useful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you know anybody else who needs help with the new Windows 11 update, or you want to forewarn them, or even show them Stellar Data Recovery's power of pulling up any type of file of recovery please share this video with them and also if you're not part of the big wonderful fan band make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button for more and don't forget to hit the notification bell make sure to join in on the live streams on wednesdays and saturdays as i do go live and answer 
Q&As. Make sure to join the Discord channel if you want to ask any PC related questions or if you just want to hang out with the fan ma'am, that's the place to be. Make sure you follow my accent though right here as it is the same as my TikTok and IG as well. Thanks again so much for watching. This is Chris Mizo signing out.